Hey everyone, it's Angie. Welcome back to my channel. I just have a little bit of randomness to show you today. Nothing earth shattering. Just wanted to share a little bit. Um, I made these lace envelopes and they could not be any easier. I just thought they were super cute. I wanted to show you what I used to make them. Um, I think I'm going to just for stability of opening it, I think I'm going to line it with maybe a piece of file folder or something just to give it a little more stability. But anyway, um, and you could put some pretty colors shining through the holes in that. But I thought they were really super cute. And they're so easy. I just want to show you what I use to make them. They are 10 and a half inch square doilies. And I mean super, super simple. Fold it in half. Tea stained, of course. Fold it in half. And you're going to fold it in this way. And I kind of saw how far down I wanted to bring it, which is probably about maybe right there. Like I told you, nothing earth shattering. Super simple. Fold this in. It looks like I missed, missed a little bit on my tea staining. Glue that down. But aren't those super cute? Just wanted to share that with you. Now I got a couple other things, a little bit of a haul I want to show you. Um, first thing is, I got these at Walmart. And I like bling on my, my vintage journals. And the reason is, is because I think of my grandma wearing lots of costume jewelry, you know, and that kind of thing when I was a kid. I'm working on this journal cover, so I'll show you. So, uh, you know, I think some bling on this would be real pretty. I got this at Walmart, and if you can see, it was a dollar. Now, I probably wouldn't wear that. But, I think that's going to be super cute on there. One of those. So, look at these that I got. Look how cool these are for a buck. To take apart. I just love them. Now look at this. Wouldn't this be neat for a small a foreclosure on a small journal? Distress that up, make it look old. Wouldn't that be cool? I thought that would be cool. I thought this, I already took it apart because I tried it on one of them. Um, this was a neat closure I thought for a journal for a buck. This I thought really looked vintagey. I like the colors. I like that green in there. Reminds me of our stove when I was a kid. Did you have a stove that color? This I thought was really cool. I'm going to take this apart. It's metal pieces. And you could alcohol ink that up, you know, about any color you wanted to. But wouldn't that be, cute? be neat to take apart and put different pieces on there? I thought that was cool. I like that so well. I bought two of them. And then I, a couple other things I want to show you is I I went to Goodwill and I got some, um, no, actually this wasn't Goodwill, this was a thrift shop, but there's all kinds of seam bias tape and seam binding and bias tape. What do you guys do with bias tape? I have yet, I have got to focus on that and figure out, because I have tons of it, what I can do with it. If you have a neat thing that you do with bias tape, comment below because I'd love to see what you guys do with it because I ran onto it all the time. Look at this old thing I found. I love, 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 love this. Um, found this. 2,000 words. thought that was pretty cool. Found this little stamp for, I think it was like 25 cents thought that was kind of cool. like that. found this Caterpillar book. I've already torn it apart because I was very excited about it and I had a project that I wanted to use it in. Look how neat the graphics are in this. Isn't that neat? Love that. thought that was pretty cool. Look at that. Love that. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to use that. found these like the tassels on here I think 
um, tea stain. Those would be really cool. I love the trim. It's basically the trim that I wanted this for. And then I found this fringe that I wanted. This was all from Goodwill. And I kind of like this. I think this would come in handy. And then my favorite thing I found is this book. Wind in the Willows. I've never read it. I've heard about this book. And it says in here that it's publications. First publication was in 1908. But I love this book. Look at the cover of it. I just love this book. And I have a thing about willows. Um, we we um, planted a willow tree in memory of my mother. And we have one in our backyard. And it's just my favorite tree. So I have a thing for willows. But look at the graphics in this book. I am going to totally alter this book. And make a journal out of it. Because I think it's the coolest. Look at that. Such awesome graphics. Comment below if you've read this book. Not read it. I would love to say I'm going to sit down and read it. But that's hard for me to do. To sit in one spot very long. So I don't know. But I just thought it was the coolest book. Love it. And it's in, it's just in great shape. I mean great shape. It's like brand new. Very cool. So anyway, comment below. Like I said, not a nurse chatting video. Just was home today. Had, had some things I wanted to share, share with you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.